morning good morning class so today i will be uh, discussing about series resistors so here we have an example circuit diagram with three resistors in parallel so we can see in our diagram it is labeled r1 r2 and r3 in series so as you can see because they are connected in a single path and connected across a total voltage equivalent to 10 volts okay so we are tasked to find the total current v1 v2 and v3 so what is now we know that the total current is the current flowing from the source okay this is our total current so how about v1 v2 and v3 it is the voltage drop across each resistor. We, here we have V1. We have from here we have the V2. Then from R3 we have the V3. Okay. So how, how are we going to solve uh, the missing quantities so remember we will be using the rules of series circuit as well as the ohm's law so first up for the total current total current it so remember if we have a subscript of t it means total so i is the symbol for current so we use the Ohm's law triangle, if you still remember, it's V I R. So the missing one is I. So we use the formula V over R. So since we are looking for the total, so we need to use the quantities for total voltage and total resistance. So we know that the total voltage is equal to the supply voltage, which is 10 volts. How about the total resistance? That one we still don't know. So therefore, we need to solve for the total resistance. So using the rule, applying the rule of series circuit in getting the total resistance, we have states that the total resistance is equal to the sum of individual resistances in series. So we have three resistors in series, R1, R2, and R3. So we just... Use the formula R1 plus R2 and R3. Then we substitute the values of each resistor. We have 10 ohms for R1, 20 ohms for R2, and 30 ohms for R3. So we add up these three quantities, we get 60 ohms for the total resistance. So now that we know the total resistance, we can now solve the total current. So let's just substitute 60 ohms so we have the total current to be 0 0.166666 but we can um, round off it to 0.167 and the unit is ampere so this is our first unknown so next we will be solving for v1 v2 and v3 so again using ohm's law triangle v i r so we're looking for the v so in this case v1 so i and r so since our subscript is one so we will be using the current one and the resistor one so we substitute we already know the value of r1 which is given 10 volts i 10 ohms okay how about the i1 so let's just write i1 since we do not know yet the i1 but if you remember there is a rule in series that the total current is equal or the same as the individual current that is flowing in a series circuit so we already got the total current so therefore the 
following the rule we have i total is equal also to the r i1 which is the current flowing in r1 is also the same as i2 which is the current flowing at r3 r2 and it's also the same with i3 which is the current flowing at r3 so we can say that is it is equal to 0.167 ampere and then we substitute to get the value of v1 so i1 is equal to 0 0.167 ampere times 10 ohms so we get the value of v1 as 1.67 volts so don't forget you should write the correct unit so we, since we are looking for the voltage so we will be using the unit of volts <laughs> okay next we look for the v2 same formula with the v1 we use the subscript i2 and r2 then following the rule for current in series so therefore i2 is, is also equal to the total current which is 0.167 ampere times r2 what's the value of r2 it is 20 ohms 20 ohms then we get 3.34 volts okay you can always round it up to nearest two decimal how about v3 so again the same formula we just use the subscript three then we get 0 0.167 ampere times r3 is 30 ohms so we just write 30 ohms therefore v3 is equal to 5.01 volts so how to check if your answers are correct we again apply we apply the rule of, of series circuit for voltage it states that voltage total voltage is equal to the individual voltage drop in each resistor so therefore the voltage drop we uh, the letters we represent the voltage drop of each resistor is v1 v2 and v3 we, uh, we know that the total voltage is 10 volts this one so v1 what is our answer 1.67 volts plus v2 is 3.34 plus volts plus the v3 is 5.01 volts so let's set calculate so using our calculator so we will get 10.02 volts so as you can see there is a slight difference of 0 0.02 it is because of the um, decimal rounding off of decimal for the current that we had a while ago so therefore there's just a slight difference but it's okay so therefore our answers for the unknown are correct so let's just write our answer so we found that it is equal to 0 0.167 ampere V1 is 1.67 volts. V2 is 3.34 volts. And we have V3 as 5.01 volts. Okay, now you've solved it. Bye.